All right, everybody, it's that time again. Let's talk trash. So most of my trash actually is from Arizona. I'm gonna pop in a picture and I'm gonna leave it up on the screen and I'm gonna run through what exactly I have kind of quickly for you because I don't physically have the items to show. This requires the glasses again. All right, so we have got the Maybelline Fit Me in number 15 light. This is too dark for me, so I actually frankened this and that's why it's in my empties right now. I have the powder, but I mixed it with two other ones. Uh, and I don't know if they're on this list or not, but we'll get to it if they are. I did go through my first bottle of the Lancome Genifique, the Advanced Genifique Youth Renewal System, whatever it was, I had mentioned that, and then I just popped the new one into one of my projects, because I loved that. I uh, used it my old Lancome Sills Booster, and you know that I popped another one into the project, because that's a holy grail. I also did a foil packet of the Genifique that I had floating around, so when my bottle was empty, I just went to the foil packet and used that up. The Crab Tree and Evelyn Wisteria Shower Gel you know about from one of the panning projects also. And then I went through a Crab or a Philosophy Purity Cleanser. Now I like this cleanser. It is a little bit drying for me, but overall it is good for sensitive skin and it's not technically drying, it's just me that's dry. But the Philosophy Cleanser is and actually I think some of their other products are actually very nice and I would definitely recommend them if anyone asked. Okay, so then we have the YSL New Glow and Balm, that little tiny bottle, as well as the Lancome Hydrazen. Those were both from, I believe, Old New Gifted and Blue, so you knew about those. Those are emptied out. The Moroccan Weightless Hydrating Mask, also Old New Gifted and Blue. You know I really love the smell of that. That was a nice product. Um, I just think it's a little cost prohibitive, but Certainly, if I got my hands on another sample, I'd be thrilled. I really do enjoy it. Okay, went through the Nicole Miller hand cream. I've been running through a, t a tube of these things a month, so that's not a big surprise to anybody. I did finish off my Timeless Vitamin C, the 20%. Now, when I finished that off, this is something I've been using for a couple of years. I reordered and had it sent here to Minnesota, so I was without for a little bit, but somehow I screwed up because they just recently came out with the 10%, and I ended up getting that for some reason. I don't know how I managed to get the wrong kind, but I don't know that it really makes a difference if it's the 10 or the 20%. Neither one irritated my skin. They're both good for brightening, and I really enjoy them. Um, and the reason I do the Timeless has a lot to do with Angie from Hot and Flashy. If you go look at her vitamin C videos, you're going to see that the main thing she focuses on is the l ascorbic acid, and that's what this one is. So that's how I ended up with that. Then I had... Um, a little sample foil packet from Kristen Bell's line, Happy Dance. I had the Whipped Body Butter plus CBD. I liked this. This was really kind of a nice one. It wasn't a super, super heavy, non-absorbing type of body butter. Um, it was still a body butter, but it was a little bit light, and it had a good smell to it. I enjoyed it. All right, then we get into some of the Bath and Body Works, the Cranberry Peach Hand Soap I went through. The... French Lavender and Honey Body Mist, which I think was a project item, so you should know about that. All right, I did the three e.l.f. Pore Refining Primer Masks as part of um, Musical Panning, so you know that I finished those off. They were fun. I enjoyed them. I don't, like I said, I still don't know if you could get them anymore. I haven't actually looked for any more on e.l.f.'s website because this is not something that I'm going to, if I have them, I'll use them because there might be more floating around but I'm not going to go seek them out because it's not something that I really want to add into my routine where I'm spending an extra five minutes with the getting ready thing. Okay, the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This was, I had used up the Morphe. I had a small bottle of this and I wanted to try it because it's everyone's holy grail, that the Charlotte Tilbury. Everybody seems to love and it was fine. It was, it's a good product. It is. Um, I'm probably going to, unfortunately for now, I have more Morphe and I'm going to stick to that as well as the hundred other setting sprays and priming sprays and all the other. I love sprays. I just have a bunch. I'm not going to rush right out and buy this. I honestly don't think it does any better than my Morphe. Uh, then we have got a Lancome Bifacial Face Cleanser, the little clear bottle. And it's a makeup remover and it's very nice. Uh, I like most of the Lancome products. I am just fine with my Garnier Micellar Water, so I don't know that I necessarily need this. 
I wouldn't tell anybody not to get it if it's something that they enjoy. Um, the eye makeup remover in this line is my favorite, but this was nice. Not something I necessarily need and I'm not gonna run out and get more. Now I did go through the Garnier Waterproof Micellar Water, the little one that was in my travel thing. Um, I do like that, but I don't like the bigger bottles. It's too much with mixing the oil. Those little travel bottles actually seem to work out perfectly well for me. I have a piece of hair that keeps getting in my mouth. Uh, they are small enough where they mix very easily and they do work pretty well for taking off the waterproof makeup. I'm not gonna say they're the best that goes to my lawn comb, but for traveling, this is actually handy and it's nice and I think I have another little one floating around and if not, I have the regular and I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so there's a foil envelope packet of the um, Body Shop's Japanese Camilla Cream Body Cream. Camellia? What, however you pronounce that. Um, this is nice, but I think this might have been an older thing. It was really interesting. It was almost, I literally kind of had to scoop it off of the foil because it had been so mashed in there. But it was a nice body cream. It wasn't super emollient. And that could have been just because this may have been floating around in my collection for a while. And it was uh, one of the around the world line. And I don't know that that's available. But it was decent. Then I've got the... OC Andaria Algae Body Oil. It was nice. Body oils are always good for me. I put them on under moisturizers after my shower, so I just like having them around. Uh, the Lavender Chamomile Body Mist that's in there, that was the one that was my pillow spray from the Panning Project. I haven't used those as body mists, aside from maybe like on my pajamas or something in quite a long time. I primarily use any of those that I still have as the pillow mist, whether they're pillow mists or body mist, that's what I use those for. And I do have more, I am using one right now, I love them. I will, they're not even in the line anymore. I think there's a couple of body mists, but I don't know that you can get some of the scents that I have because my collection is so old. So is what it is. Now I went through a little bottle of the Way hair oil. This one I would recommend as an overnight treatment. I didn't like just putting some of my hair and going. If I did it in damp hair and let it dry that was okay but if I did it in the evening before I put my hair up for bed I felt my hair was actually a little oily the next day which is weird because I have dry hair. So I don't know if it wasn't absorbing when it was dry or what it was but it's a good overnight oil mask because it doesn't seem to absorb. So if you use a little bit extra, put it throughout, put your hair up, and then wash your hair, that's kind of a good plan for it. Um, I have other things that do that, and I have hair masks and such, not something I'm going to repurchase, but I do like the way line in general. It's fairly nice. Now, the Briogeo Frizz, Farewell Frizz Leave-In Conditioning Spray, I actually liked. Uh, I wish I would have had it here though because with the weird weather here I think I'm fuzzier than I am down in Arizona but I do really enjoy that. I don't know what the cost is I would probably have to look into that before considering getting a full size and with all I put so much crap in my hair that I don't know that I actually need it but it's kind of nice on the non-wash days too so that's a kind of handy product and then I went through uh, the little Ilia lip mask. I always have a lip mask around I'm not super, super particular about what kind. I like the Wet n Wild, I like the Laneige, I like all of the different kinds. I just like having a lip mask. And right now I have the Tarte Sea Jelly one in, oh God, is that old new gifted Bluetooth? Probably, I don't know, but I have it in one of the projects. All right, also in this picture are most of the candles that I went through. So we've got, and all of the candles are Bath and Body Works. We've got a three wick cactus blossom, a three wick white gardenia, a single cactus blossom, a single vanilla candle, and then I have two bottles of plumeria oil and a bottle of honey almond oil. And I get these in the Mesa swap meet from a particular vendor where I've got my warmers from. And I buy the bottles of those from her. They're about three bucks a bottle. And I pour it over rock salt and they smell phenomenal. They're so nice. I really, really enjoy those. I do I do have them in Minnesota. So you'll probably see some more of those floating around. Um, I just had actually gotten a little less lazy and actually been putting oil in my warmers. Okay, so that's everything from Arizona. Oh, and I'm also 
gonna pop a picture in now so that you can see the candles that were made from the wax from the last batch. I'm gonna try and if I make a candle out of my leftover waxes, pop that in with the next month's empties so you can see how much I got. I actually got two of the single wick jars filled this time and they came out a really pretty pink color. So I'm really happy about that. But now let's get into the very few things that I actually have emptied since for that last week that I was here in Minnesota. I actually, this one is a road one. It's the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil Face Butter. And I, I actually kind of liked it. I don't mind the Josie Moran stuff. Mar Moran? Moran? Har I'm massacring her name. I apologize for that. I'm not good with that stuff. Um, I don't do a ton of her stuff. I've had some of the oil and I've really liked that. But the face butter is pretty nice. I, it was great for being on the road because I'm in a drier climate and... Arizona's dry enough, but traveling on the road just tends to just sap my skin completely. So that was nice to have. And then this was my Dermalogica Biolumin C Serum, the Brightening Vitamin C Serum that I used on the road because I'd run out of the Timeless. So this one went on the road as my daily vitamin C. Um, nice. I don't have a lot to say about that. Dermalogica is a little bit expensive too. I keep saying things are expensive and then I'll spend stupid money on things that other people wouldn't. But for me, I'm really happy with my Timeless. That was nice to have and nice to try, but nothing I would rush out and get. St. Jane Luxury Beauty Serum, 20 milligrams of CBD plus 20 potent botanicals. It was just a nice serum. Um, used that on the road too. I don't know anything. I don't even know where I got this. And I don't know anything about the St. Jane line. Nothing I had ever tried before. But it was a really nice, lightweight, absorbable serum. CBD is good for the infl inflammatory and for all the other stuff too, and just even the hydration. So I thought that was nice. Now, one of the coolest things that I came across was, this was in one of my hotel rooms. It's Rain Breeze Lotion, as I throw it around, body lotion. And it smelled really good. There is nothing on here to indicate what company makes this or anything. And like I said, it was just in with, you know, the little hotel goodies. You get the shampoo, the soap, all of that. This was in one of the hotels that I stayed in. And I really, really liked it. I wish I knew more about it. The smell was great. It was perfect after the shower. I put that on. And it worked out really well. But then since I've gotten home, I had a NARS order. And they came with this little sample card of the Orgasm Blush which has a pink underbase, so it looks like I haven't used it, but there is no powder left on that baby. All that blush has been used. That's a blush that I've been using for years. So basically I just used this because I knew it was gonna be messy. I used it to use it because I actually have an open blush right now. So that was just kind of to get it out of the inventory. Now I finished off, oh, this is another one of those old ones. This is the Lavender Vanilla Sleep Body Lotion from Bath & Body Works Aromatherapy line. Uh, big, nice, pretty blue glass bottle. The lavender vanilla and the vanilla chamomile were two of my stock must-have items at all times. Body cream, body lotion, pillow mist, pillow body mist, whatever. I really do like these. I just find that they're nice to put on at night. Um, lavender is a soothing scent. It does help promote sleep. And with my insomnia issues, it doesn't hurt. Let's put it that way. And it's always nice to have a lotion before bed that absorbs nice and quickly because it's not a super thick one. Then we went through a French lavender of the hand soap. Um, I always keep one of these in my kitchen here and got home to find very little left. And so that one went in the empties. Then skincare, I have the glass serum from peach and lily you can't see what that says translucent and luminous peach extract plus peptide complex so this was something that i was using as a step in the morning and i really liked it a lot of people say that the glass skin works as almost like a priming step i don't know that i noticed that so much for me but i did like the peptides i liked having that mixed in for my skincare routine and then Yep, once again, more cleansing wipes. What can I say? I just have a lot of them. I do use them. Um, doing my best to go through them because I know that I can't... Sorry, I'm getting a phone call on my stupid phone while I'm filming. Uh, 
I, I can't keep using these things. I know they're not good for the environment, but I have this stockpile. Unfortunately, with the e.l.f. ones, I got them really nice and cheap, but the minute you open these things, these do start to dry out. Unlike some of the other ones I've used where the 25th wipe is as good as the first wipe, these aren't. I, you almost have to wet them under the sink a little bit when you get closer to the end on those. So that is not necessarily a recommend. I don't even know what they have in the line right now. That's from a previous sale. Of course, I do also have some candles here. This one was just simply, oh, look at the black on that. Huh, didn't trim the wicks as well as I thought. This was just a Glade Airwick something candle my husband liked, so we burned that one up. Um, so I had something going on. So I had it burning in the kitchen and just left it burning all day and basically burned through the whole thing in about two days, which is not great, but nice to have around. Then I went through Ghoul Friend. This is a Bath and Body Works Halloween one. Pink one smells lovely. You know I'm going to chip the wax out of this. I have an empty jar already started with extra wax, so there's that one. And then I also went through Haunted Orchard. This said it had a burn time of approximately 33 hours. This was another one I picked up at Bath and Body Works. I love the cover. It's just so cute. Great scent to it. Um, obviously, those are things that you can't get. It was a seasonal, but I really did enjoy both of those. And then a vanilla bean. Once again, a whole lot of wax in the bottom. Um, love the vanilla bean, and I'll be chipping all of that wax out and throwing it in with what I already have. I don't think with what I've got here... I chipped the wax out in Arizona and put that in my measuring cup that I use for melting. But with what I've got here, I don't think I have enough to make a candle yet. So we're just going to have some empty or wax extras sitting around until I go through some more and get enough to actually melt down to make something new. And I need to get more wicks too for Minnesota because I don't have wicks here. So that is everything for this month. There were a couple of good products, a couple of products that are eh. Uh, the YSL was fine not my style of primer the Lancome Hydrazen that was the one that I thought was watery not thick enough for me would be a first primer for that or first first moisturizer rather for that I've got others that I can use um, yeah nothing stand out that oh my goodness I absolutely love this and must go out and get it the things that I absolutely love I already have my backup started and in projects. So you guys, that is everything for this month's For My Trash Talking. Uh, if you liked this, please feel free to go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Ugh. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and go crazy, ring that notification bell. Leave me any comments if there's anything in here that I trashed that you think is great that I should look more into or... Half my stuff is so old you can't even get it, so I can't imagine there's going to be too much, but anything you come up with for a comment, you know I love to chat. So until next time, see ya. Bye.